wrestler. Name that makes news in watch band. scientific operation required supplies of human blood. Tonight, Tales of Tomorrow presents Youth on Tap, starring Robert Alda with Harry Towns and Mary Alice Moore. Hello. Say, you know, the tailor who pressed this sleeve must have used a T-square. I know it looks pretty funny, and it feels sort of strange, too. After all, my arm is round. And you know, speaking of round objects, let me show you something else you wear on your arm. Now the chances are you're wearing one of the new round model watches. Perhaps it's an automatic or a waterproof. Now what you need is the new Chrysler watch band that's specially designed for round watches. Look how perfectly the curved links fit the shape of the watch. Notice how the rounded ends match a round watch on both sides. And notice especially how the curved design of the end pieces eliminates any ugly gap at this point. Makes the band look custom made for the watch. See how every link of the crescent follows the curve of the watch and becomes a part of the watch. Making it one smart, continuous piece of jewelry. It's the greatest new idea in men's watch bands in years. It's the new Crescent Watch Band by Chrysler. And practical? This Chrysler band expands to bring you new convenience and comfort. You can thank Chrysler's super-calibrated seven-coil springs. And Crescent by Chrysler costs only $7.50 in stainless steel or only $10.95 with gold-filled top, federal tax included. So, if you own a round watch, go to your jeweler tomorrow and buy Crescent, the first and only watch band in the world that's exactly right for the round watch. Make your watch look better than new and dress up your appearance, too, with Chrysler. Chrysler presents Youth on Tap, starring Robert Alda. I love you so, that's my desire, that's my You smell good. What kind of perfume is that? It's called hope. The last bit of hope I got. All week, I kept waiting to hear your truck outside. All week. Waiting for you to come through the door and say, Kitty, got the money. We can get married now. Buy the gas station. Oh, look, baby, I tried sure, to tell you. Sure, I know. Truck was stolen. Now, the clear blue sky, that great, big, beautiful truck was snatched. Haven't I been checking with the police every day? What else can I do? You could have sold it like I asked you to. That's what. Yeah, for half the price. Practically give it away. You talk like I didn't want to buy the gas station. Don't you think I know what it means? I've had dreams, too. Look, maybe the cops will find the truck and... chance. Tilt. Oh, Kitty. Kitty, look, we still got a chance. The guy that owns a gas station gave us until Thursday. Maybe we can raise the money by then. A thousand dollars? Sure, Maybe I can make it in tips in one night. Stick around and watch me operate. Customers in this joint are nothing but big spenders. The cinch. Oh, Jeff. Joe, I'll be out back 
Call me if it gets busy. She's a very lovely girl. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't let her get away. Now, who are you? Just someone who happened to overhear the last of your conversation. Well, we don't need anybody else in this, so keep your nose out of it. Okay, sorry. I thought I could help you. You looked so beaten down. Yeah? Well, you try raising a grand in a week. Oh? <laughs> well, that's not as difficult as it seems. Hey, don't I know you from someplace? I was wondering when you'd remember. Sure. Sure, I met you down at the blood bank. You're a, you're a medic, a doctor of some kind. You made me some crazy proposition about selling your pint of my blood for an experiment. Yeah, sure, I remember you now. That's exactly why I'm here. This was the address you gave me. The name's Clayton. Dr. Clayton. And what's this? It's genuine. That's one thousand dollars. It's yours if you want it. Are you crazy? What are you trying to pull? You and your girl can still have the gas station. I don't get it. What's the gag? No gag. Do you remember at the uh, Red Cross Center you told me that your blood was type A, RH negative? Yeah. Yeah, me and Kitty found that out when we first went to get our marriage license. Oh. Well, I'll make a bargain with you. I'm listening. This thousand dollars is yours. I give it to you. For one pint of blood. Hey, look, Doc. I may be a truck driver, but I've been around. Nobody pays a thousand bucks for a pint of blood just because it's type A, RH negative. Lots of people got it. Me, Kitty. You can pick it up in any blood bank. Everything you say is quite true. It's a very good reason for my paying a high price. The donation must be made under certain conditions. Like what? Well, in my experiment, the type of the blood is not enough. The blood must be subjected to a high frequency voltage while it's being taken from the veins. Sounds dangerous. Not in the least. Nope. All you feel is a slight tingling where the electrodes apply. Uh, just a tingling? You sure about that? There's absolutely nothing to fear. The entire transaction can be completed within an hour. Before you'd know it, you'd be back here with a thousand dollars in your pocket. What do you say? Hey, Joe. When Kitty comes back, tell her she can expect to be married by nightfall. Tell her her future husband is out buying a gas station. Come on, Doc, let's go. Oh, Jeff, well, wait. Is there another door to this diner? Yeah, sure, in the back. Why? The last two days, someone's been following me. The work I do, the papers I carry on me are too important to take any chances. Let's slip out the back way. Oh, sure. Back door, front door, it's all the same to me. See you later, Joe. at home. It's not exactly the kind of laboratory you'd expect a thousand dollar experiment to be carried on in. I'd say it looks more like a messy bedroom. <laughs> well, I use it because it's in a deserted neighborhood. I can carry on my experiments here without fear of interruption. Say, Doc, if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll take that thousand dollars now in advance. Right, certainly. Glad to oblige. Okay, that's better. But I still don't get it. Why are you paying so much for just a pint of blood? I'm no Superman, no metal giant. You're not getting anything special. Well, let's, let's just say that uh, I'm suffering from a rare disease. I require fresh new blood. 
young blood. Well, if you take off your jacket, we can begin. Hey, maybe if this works out all right, we can do it again. Maybe in a month or so, you'll be needing a new supply. If a thousand bucks a pint, I could... No, no, no. Uh, I make it a point never to use the same donor twice. What's the difference? Well, in my experiment, I, 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 I try to use as many people as possible. Well, ready to begin? Yeah. Yeah, let's get it over with. Thank you. Sit down here on the bed. Now roll up your sleeve. Uh, that one. All set, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, let's get it over with. Right. What's that? You said just a tingle, that's all you said. Easy, Jeff, easy. It's not supposed to hurt like this. Turn it off. Turn it off! It's too late now, Jeff. The, the volume is mounting up. The blood's rushing from your veins. Oh, it feels so strange. Stop it just for a minute. Just a little more, Jeff. Just a little more. No, no. Relax. The agreement's almost concluded. I can't take it. Please. Hello, and welcome back to the world of today. You see this little gadget? Let me show you how it'll make money disappear. Now watch. One, two. Now, see, the money's right inside there. Huh? Ready? Now. All gone. <laughs> now, you know, I know a lot of guys who tell me their wives can accomplish that same trick without the use of a gadget like this. But all kidding aside, I'd like to show you some fashion magic that every woman will love, and the men will love it too, because it saves money. Now, watch this wand closely. I'm going to use a lady's watch. It's a nice watch, but nothing special. Now, I propose to change it into something real special, a beautiful bracelet watch. All I have to do is say the magic word, Chrysler. Now, how's that for fashion magic? What's that? You say a bracelet watch style like that cost $50 or more? Ladies, that's the trick that saves you money. This clever new accessory is the Golden Fantasy Watch Bracelet by Chrysler that changes any watch into a high-style bracelet watch. Certainly looks as if it cost $50, but you pay only $9.95. Here, take a close look at this sensational new watch band. It's the new slim fantasy band that fits even a very small watch and makes it high fashion and a true bracelet watch. Ask for it by name. It's Golden Fantasy by Chrysler. You can select Golden Fantasy in a variety of styles, jewel set or tailored to suit your taste. And whatever model you pick, you can be sure it really suits your watch. See how perfectly this new design at the end blends with the smallest watch. Another big advantage, these bands expand, so when you're doing work around the house, you can slip fantasy up out of the way. And remember, golden fantasy costs less than many ordinary bands. So go to your jeweler, 
Make your old watch look smarter than new with a fantasy watch bracelet by Chrysler. And now back to our story, Youth on Tap, starring Robert Alda. Feeling better, Jeff? Still passed out. Well, you just lie quietly there for a minute, Jeff. You'll be all right. I don't break your neck. You weren't so old. I you look different. You look younger now. What? What's happened to you? It's very simple. I am younger now. I've taken the essence of your youth for myself. Hey, hey what's happening? What's going on? My feet, my hands, they're numb, paralyzed. Just lie back there, Jeff. Relax for about an hour. Your reflexes are a little slower now, that's all. What's wrong? What's wrong? Just lie still. Oh, Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, hello, Dr. Platon. Uh, good to see you again. I'm afraid there must be some mistake. No, there's no mistake. I've hunted you down for too long not to recognize you. That kind, gentle face that could never bring harm to anyone. Why did you come here? What do you want? I think you know why I come here, Doctor. Get on over there. Oh, you're still using the same equipment, I see. Who's this? Your latest sucker? Well, how do you feel, boy? It's just like all the wind's been knocked out of you, isn't it? Only don't wait for it to come back, because it won't. What's he talking about? Pay no attention to him. How much did he pay you, boy? Thousand dollars? I... Then you're a double sucker. I got two thousand. How old do you think I am? Fifty? Sixty? I'm only twenty-nine. Two years ago, when he first found me, I needed money badly. So when he made me his proposition, I grabbed it quick. Well, the rejuvenation was a great success for him. But now look at me. I look twice my age. It couldn't happen to me. It couldn't. Yeah, but it has. Well, he doesn't only take your blood. Somehow or other, he drains out your life and your vitality along with it. Well, in a day or two, your hair will start to fall out. Your skin will get dry and wrinkled. He's made an old man out of you overnight. No. No, I can't believe it. No, not for a thousand dollars. A lousy thousand dollars. Never mind, dollars. doctor. Leave him alone. Let's get on to business. I've come here to have my youth restored. That's impossible. Oh, no, is it? Well, this gun says it's not. The rejuvenation worked for you, and it's going to work for me, too. Okay. Okay, put the gun away. Put it away. I, I'll make a bargain with you. All right, I'm listening. There's a diner... About two blocks down the street, and there's a waitress there named Kitty. Go get her, bring her here. She's his girlfriend. Her blood type will do for you. No. No, leave Kitty alone. Leave her out of this. Go and get her, bring her here. Tell her that Jeff's in trouble. That'll get her here in a hurry. Her blood type will do for both of us. Hey, how do I know you're on the level? I remember how you skipped out on me the last time. All right. Tie me up if you wish. There's no place for me to run. Hey, that's a good idea. Don't, don't play fine, but better. That's to make sure you're here when I get back. <laughs> don't do it, don't. I'm sorry, kid, but I've waited for this chance too long. Anything foolish and get back in bed. You're too weak. I'm going to kill you. Jeff, don't be a fool. Listen to me, Jeff. We can talk this thing over. Untie me before Bodrum gets back. I'm not going to let you hurt Kitty. I've sent for Kitty for your sake. Her blood is your type. It's no good for Bodrum. 
I'm going to kill you before I let you do anything to Kitty. No, listen to me, Jeff. Listen to me. I, I swear to you, I'll restore your youth. Look at me, Jeff. Look at me. I'm 160 years old. I'll give you eternal youth, too, Jeff. Just untie me. That's all I ask. Jeff! <laughs> have to have an immediate blood transfusion. He tells me that you and he have the same blood type, is that correct? Yes. We'll have to work fast if we expect to save him. Are you sure you want to help? Of course. Good. Stretch out on this other bed here. We'll proceed immediately. Anything like this before. Well, what's the matter? According to this indicator, that transfusion cost you 25,000 units of the youth derivative. Yet you appear to have the same amount left. Meaning what? Meaning that both of you have a reserve of 50 to 60 years of normal living. This man has had his youth restored. And you've lost nothing. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Oh, Kitty, baby. How did they hurt you? Darling, I'm all right. How do you feel? Okay, I guess. I... Yeah. Yeah, I feel better. Lots better. All right. It's my turn now. Let's go, Doc. I'm afraid that's impossible, Bodrum. Her, her blood's not right for you. Hey, what are you trying to pull? Her blood worked for him. Why not for me? Well, at any rate, she couldn't undergo another electrical charge so soon. It means waiting two or three days at least. No, I'm not waiting that long. I want it now, this minute. I can't believe it. I got practically all my strength back. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, you're not going anywhere. Nobody's leaving here until I get what I came for. I've had enough of this double talk. What do you want from us? We're of no use to you. What do you mean, no use to me? Your blood was good enough for the doc here. It's good enough for me. Don't you understand, Bodrum? I can't help you. There's nothing I can do. Why not? Why can't you give me his blood or the girl's? Because I told you why their blood's not right for you. You're an O-type. In your body, their A-type would act as a fast poison. You're lying. Oh, you're lying. I don't believe you. I swear it. You told me her blood would be right for me, didn't you? I was lying. I was just stalling, trying to figure out what to do. But I know you're not still lying. Maybe this is just some more of that fast talk. Can't you understand him, Baldrum? Our blood would kill you. Oh, yeah? Now, you listen to me, Clayton, and listen good. I've hunted you down for two years because you took my life. I'm going to get it back if I have to take yours. You're out of your mind. Oh, am I? I want my 30 years back, and you're going to give them to me. How? I've only told you that... Yeah, well, there's one thing you haven't told me. Maybe their blood's no good for me, but yours is. No. No, I... No, no, that's, that's impossible. I won't. I won't get those needles ready, Doctor. And this time, you're... I don't regret this. I don't think so. Let you two get over there where I can see you. You can't do this, Porter. You've seen how this thing works. It might kill him. Well, I don't care. No one will ever take my use away from me. Never, never. Never. Jeff! Jeff! Hold it, Clayton. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it. Okay. I don't get you, Clayton. I don't get you at all. You talk about eternal youth, but why? What for? Do you want to go on living just for the sake of living? What did you get out of your 160 years? In all your life, you couldn't have learned anything about love. Loving anybody or anything. Nothing but a leech, that's all you were. Well, if that's your idea of what youth is for, I don't want any part of it. Or your money, either. I 
I think maybe we'll let the police take it from here. Let's go. Something different in watch bands? Look for Chrysler. For example, this one with your own initials. Or when you're looking for a fine band at a thrifty price, as low as $4.95, you'll find many like this in the big selection of Chrysler watch bands. Yes, whether you're looking for a man's band or a lady's style, there's a Chrysler watch band to suit every watch, every taste, and every purse. At Jewelers Everywhere, Chrysler watch bands give you the finest selection, the finest value. So remember always, when you look for quality, look for Chrysler. How did science enable a town of 89 people to live without food? What happened to them? Next week, Tales of Tomorrow presents Substance X, starring Vicki Cummings. After seeing danger ahead, here are the distances required for stopping with good brakes. At 30 miles per hour, about four car lengths will be required to stop. At 40 miles per hour, it requires about six and a half car lengths to stop. Nine and a half car lengths are required to stop when traveling at 50 miles per hour. Be smart. Don't speed. program originally telecast by ABC in New York has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC 